<clears throat> okay, now let's talk about the costs, some more costs of options. Um, yes, and this is the one you had questions about. Um, it says um, Juanita Wade's new car has an MSRP, that's the retail price, of $24,654.05. That includes the title and the processing fee. The Premier package, which includes surround sound and DVD, cost three times the amount. So we want to go ahead and highlight that fact. Okay, so it costs three times the amount of the in-style package, which includes the leather seats and the select wheels. The total cost of her car was $31,980.65, and that included a 6.5% sales tax. Find the cost of the Premier package to the nearest cent. Now, what they don't say here, but they're, they wanted you to just figure out, <laughs> is that she is purchasing both the Premier package and the InStyle package. She's buying both of those. Now, we don't know how much either of them are, but we know that the, in, the Premier package is three times the cost of the InStyle package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the InStyle package X. That's its price. And then the Premier package is three times that. So it's going to be three times X. So what we're going to do is set up the cost of this car. Um, so it started out being 24000 $654. Okay, so we start with that, and then you would add to that price your packages. So again, one of them was 3X, that's our premier package, and the other was just X. So we're adding 3X, and we're adding an X. So far, so good. But remember, we also have to pay tax on that. So whatever our total came to, then we paid 6.5% tax. Now, rather than finding that, that tax separately, I'm going to do the method that we did in the past where you just multiply it by one number to get the cost and the tax together so that you don't have to find the tax, then add the two. And our method for that was to first take our sales tax, move the decimal two places to the left. Now, again, if you wanted to find the tax, normally what we do is take this total times 0.065, and then add it to this total again. Another, a way to get around that is to multiply by one plus your rate. And what that does is the one that you're multiplying by gives you your total, and then the rate gives you the rate, and it gives it to you all in one step. Does that step make sense to you? So this, if we multiply by 1.065, that will give us the total with the tax. Again, because the 1 gives us the total that we had, and the 0 0.065 gives us the tax. Okay, when we do that, then we should get her final price, which it said her final price, price was Okay, so now we need to solve this. Okay, notice we are multiplying all of this stuff by 1.065. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what the price was without tax. And I'm going to do that by dividing both sides by 1.065. Okay, so here we have an equation to solve. And again, since that entire thing was multiplied by 1.065, I can remove it by dividing by that number as long as I do that on both sides. So over here, it just cancels it. And over here, I would actually need to take out the calculator and divide so I know what number is left there. We still doing good? <coughs> okay, 
So now I'm down to my next step. So on the right hand side, that gave me 30,000. $28.78. On the left-hand side, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. There's really no point in having 3x plus x. We can just go ahead and add those together. 3x plus another x is 4x. So down here, I have my 24000 654. I apologize, the program is not running smoothly today. It's like going slow when I try to write. <laughs> that's why this is taking so long. Okay, plus 4x. That's what I have over on this side, which gives me, again, I just have this equation and I need to solve it. And so to solve, I need to get x all by itself. Um, I, it has this 24,650405 added to it, so I need to subtract that. Again, my goal when solving equation is get the x or the variable, whatever it is, by itself. So I'm going to move everything that's with it to the other side. Okay, so you're going to take your 30,028 that we had over there, and we are going to subtract $24,654.05. Which leaves me with just 4x here. And that here I get $5,374. Does that look right? And 13 cents. Okay, now all we have to do is 4 times x. Now all we have to do to find our x is divide both sides by 4. So we're going to take that 5,374. Divide it by 4. <coughs> okay, when I do that, I get that x is 1,343 dollars and 53 cents. Now, then I want to go back up and say, okay, well, what did my X stand for? And did I find my answer yet? So X was the in-style package. And for the answer, they wanted the cost of the premier package. So X is $1,343.53. But we need the premier package, which is three times that amount. So to find my final answer, I'm going to take this $1,343.53 and multiply it by three. And then I have my final, final answer. <laughs> we went through lots of steps to get there, um, but it is Okay, so does that, all those steps make sense on that question?